Okay, welcome to solving a system of equations using the substitution method. All right, so I have an example set up here. Uh, but before we, we start that example, I just want to briefly mention why in the world do we do the substitution method, the addition method, which will probably be in the ne next video. Because the graphing method seemed to work well. Well, take a look at this. So here's, here's a graph. It's not, it's not the, the lines to these equations up here. But, you know, if you take a look at it, you know, here's our solution. And if you kind of guess on where it is, I mean, if you take a look at it, it, it kind of looks like it's at 4.5 comma 3. You know, and then you would check this, and then maybe it works, maybe it doesn't, because what if it was actually 4.6 comma 3? Or maybe it was 4.554 comma 3. Or maybe it was 4.5 comma 2.9. I mean, I you do not know. And every time you make a guess and plug it in, and if it's wrong, I mean, this is going to take a long time. So the substitution method's great because if you do the method correctly, it will get you your answer no matter how weird it may be. Okay, so let's get started with the example I have up here. All right, we're gonna write, I'm going to write down a bunch of steps, and as, as I write down the steps, we'll actually solve this so you know how to do each step. All right, so let's start with step one. You're going to pick an equation and solve for a variable. You prefer to pick a variable that has a one in front of it. All right, so we have two equations to choose from. I want to pick one of those, and then I want to solve for one of those variables. Um, and you want your best option is when you have a one in front. Uh, now this actually, this one right here has a negative one, which is perfectly fine. I mean, we would like a positive one, but you know you don't want to be too picky, so negative one's going to work. So let me write down the equation that I'm picking. So that was 3x minus y equals negative 5. And then I want to solve for y. OK, so once you solve for y, you're going to get y equals 3x plus 5. All right, so now we've done that. Let's move on to step two. So plug this new equation into the other equation. So the other equation is the negative 2x plus 3y equals 8. So we're going to plug that in to the other equation, replacing the y, so that y right there, with 3x plus 5. All right, so let's write down the other equation. So negative 2x plus 3y equals 8. And then we're going to replace the y with 3x plus 5. The parentheses are important. Uh, anytime you're going to replace something with something else, you want to put it in parentheses. So we get negative 2x plus 3. And then instead of y, it's now 3x plus 5. And that equals 8. All right, so now I've successfully replaced the y with 3x plus 5. Okay, moving on to step 3. So let's scroll down. Step 3, solve the equation for x. So notice we have an equation up here with one variable. So all we're going to do is we're going to solve for x. First thing we're going to have to do is distribute this 3 into the parentheses. All right, so we're going to get negative 2x plus, and now 3 times 3x is 9x, 3 times 5 is 15, that's going to equal 8. Notice that we have like terms here. Okay, so negative 2x plus 9, 7x plus 15 equals 8. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract the 15 over to the other side. So I'll get 7x equals negative 7. And then finally, solving for x, we will get x equals negative 1. All right, so step 3 is where we'll solve for one of the variables. Now we'll move on to step 4, where we're going to find y. So step 4 is plug x equals negative 1 back into y equals 3x plus 5 to find y. Okay, so, I mean, you can plug it back into this equation, or you can plug it back into any of the two original equations. Uh, just make sure that you check your final answer, and if it doesn't work, um, go back and check this, and then if 
just keep working backwards until you find a mistake. All right, so let's plug in x equals negative 1. So we get y equals 3 times negative 1 plus 5, and that's going to equal 2. Okay, so if we come up here, I'm going to write my solution down. You can write it two different ways. You can write it as x equals negative 1, y equals 3, or you can write it as a coordinate pair, which would be negative 1, comma, 2. Okay, and then as I said, you want to check your answers. Okay, so what were the, the original two equations? Negative 2x plus 3y equals 8. So that was one of them. So let's see if it works. So negative 2 times negative 1 plus 3 times 2 equals 8. So that's 2 plus 6 equals 8. So that checks out. All right, so what's my other one? 3x minus y. So 3x minus y equals negative 5. Okay, so plug in x equals negative 1. Plug in y equals 3. Notice any time I plug something in, I'm putting in parentheses. Does that equal negative 5? It'd probably be a good idea if I plug in the right y value. y is 2. Okay, so that's negative 3 minus 2. Does that equal negative 5? Yep, negative 5 equals negative 5, so this does check out. So this is the method of substitution, and this remember there are three types of solutions, one solution, no solution, and infinitely many. This is an example where uh, you end up getting one solution.